So paint this scene with me. You're on Facebook. You're 15 minutes deep into a reverse racism argument with these pesky Negroes. They keep telling you that reverse racism is not a thing, but you know that it's a lie. Because just last week you were called an expired jar of mayonnaise. But you're all out of examples, all out of insults. But little do these Negroes know that you have one trick left up your sleeve. One fact, in fact, to rule them all, to end all arguments about reverse racism. What is that fact you might ask? Well, the dictionary says that racism is prejudice or discrimination directed against someone of a different race. That, that includes the Negro, the colored race, um, based on the belief that one's own race is superior. So reverse racism is real. Mind blown. I mean, who can argue with the dictionary? You've won. You, I mean, you celebrate doing the Cotton Eye Joe. You river dance all around your room. Because the dictionary's got to be right. I mean, who can argue with the dictionary? I can't. And anybody else who uses common fucking logic and sense. So here's the thing, right? The dictionary is a fucking book. It's a book. It is not the law of the land. God didn't come down from heaven and write it. It's not the fucking Ten Commandments. Moses did not find it when he parted the Red Sea. There's no fucking pirate code. It's not sworn in blood. It's a fucking book. It's a reference guide. It is literally just a book that combines the overall generalized popular meaning of words. That's it. There is no book on earth big enough to accommodate every single word and every single meaning associated with every single word on the planet. That's impossible to write down, which is why the dictionary is limited. And that's why the dictionary is always updating every fucking year. In fact, if you bother to use the free resource of Google, which I know you guys are all allergic to, but I really want you to get used to it because it's free and it will answer all of your questions. But if you use that resource to look up and research how dictionaries are created and how those meanings are attributed to those words, you would find out that the dictionary publishers themselves admit words are forever changing. The meanings that are in current dictionaries are just a snapshot of that word in time. That does not mean it's all-encompassing definition of everything that could possibly be attributed to that word forever and for all. So how does this affect the word racism? Glad you asked. See, the term and the idea of racism was created by white people way back in the way back back. Okay? The whole idea behind racism was to differentiate white people from everybody else. And white people thought that they were superior to everybody else because, I don't know, they had bland food and they burned the sun, so I guess that made them better than everybody else. Don't know why, but hey, white people, they never make sense. So of course, the dictionary definition of racism, which is, oh, I think I'm better than you, therefore I am racist, would fit this definition. Of course it does, because that's what it was originally intended to mean. However, we are not in the fucking 14th century anymore, it's 2017. Those meanings have changed. So after hundreds and hundreds and thousands and billions of fucking years of white people and their racist bullshit, it has shifted racism. What racism looks like has shifted from simply being, oh, I think I'm better than you, to creating entire societies and systems set up to make sure that you uphold that idea of I'm better. Listen, I would declare racism dead right now, 2017. I would quit my YouTube channel. I would stop writing. I would stop everything. And I could sleep peacefully at night if racism was as simple as you think that you're better than me. Okay? And who gives a fuck? You can think you're better than me if I want to. But the problem is, is it's not simply you thinking that you're better than me. You can think that you're better than me. But the difference is, is you guys have not created systems to make sure that you are better than us. Even if I was better than you, whether it's academic, skills, whatever it is, I'm still a step behind because you've created systems to make sure that I stay a step behind. So it doesn't matter if you think that you're better than me or not. There are white people who don't think that they're better than black people or Asian people or whatever the whatever the case may be, but guess what? They're still one step ahead of everybody else because you guys have created these fucking systems to make sure that we stay that way. Whether it's wage gaps, whether it's these ridiculous fucking laws, whether it's police brutality, all of these things implemented into our systems to make sure that that idea is upheld, whether or not you personally believe it or not. Um, well, only black girl. Um, that's cool and, you know, you know, whatever, but just because you don't like a word in this meaning doesn't mean you can change that meaning. You know, I am so glad that you brought that, brought that up, Nathan Bob uh, Johnson. So, I'm 
not sure if you skipped grade school, but I know I did. And one of the things that you learn in like a first English class that you ever take, like first, second, third grade, I don't know. Um, but one of the first things that you learn is that words have multiple meanings, right? And um, there's such thing as context. And when you put a word into context, that meaning might change a little bit. So that is exactly the same thing that's happening here. Dictionaries are opinions. They are not written in law like we discussed. There's no dictionary committee that sits down and debates the meaning of words and then the popular vote or, you know, the fucking dictionary senate decides that this is the word that means this thing and that is forever and for always. It's not a thing. It's literally just based on fucking opinion. And when white people are the ones writing those opinions, whose opinion do you think is going to favor? White people. So of course, that same dictionary definition of um, you're so mean to me, so that's racist. Of course, that's gonna be in there. But guess what, sweetheart? Like I like just said, when you apply context of the world in 2017, it just don't fucking work. There's no right or wrong definition of a word. There's a popular or more commonly known or used definition for the word. But that doesn't mean that any other definition is wrong and this one is right. For example, according to the dictionary, the word twist means to rotate something around that remains stationary. But you also know what a twist is? It isn't also a lit ass dance. <laughs> Did you also know? The Shirley Temple is a person, but it is also a non-alcoholic beverage that is quite lit. So yes, while those dictionary definitions of words are quote-unquote correct, right? Those are only taken at face value. When you apply context to them, those values change. They switch up a bit. So when you apply social context to the word racism, it no longer is just that face value of just, oh, well, you mean to me. Who gives a shit, bitch? Get over it. Yes, that is still the foundation, the face value underlying idea behind racism, right? So whatever context that you put in it, it still goes back to, I think I'm better than you. Yes, that's fine. But when you build these systems on top of it, it no longer is just, I think I'm better than you. Now you've made it so it's a reality that you're better than us. That is why this definition of racism, meaning race plus power, is so important because in order to truly be racist, you have to have the power to do so. If I walk outside and punch a white person for being white, okay, yeah, that was me, it was rude, but you're still white, you're still going to benefit from everything. I'm still gonna go to jail. In fact, I'll probably be murdered before I even get to the jail. Meanwhile, if you flip the script and a white person walks outside, a police officer goes down the road and shoots a 12 year old black boy, guess what? He gets to go off on a fucking state vacation for three months. See the difference there? I can call you an expired jar of mayonnaise, but will that stop the fact that I get paid less? Or the fact that I'm looked at as a thug or dangerous every time that I walk into a fucking 7-Eleven? No. That doesn't affect your life at all. It's rude. And sure, it can hurt your feelings, but does that change all the privileges that you have in life? No. You're still going to be white and you're still going to be just fine. Your feelings might be hurt, but that's just about it. Now, people of color absolutely can be prejudiced and discriminate to white people and other people of color as well. But that's not the same thing as racism. That's more of an individual ideology and opinion, right? Just because if I don't like white people, what exactly does that do to white people's lives? Nothing. You don't have to like me. I don't have to like you. We can both go let, go our separate ways and live our lives just fine. It doesn't make any fucking difference. A lot of people don't like me. Does that change the fact that I'm still me? Absolutely fucking not. But when you apply that ideology to larger systems like the American fucking government, then we have problems. 2017, folks, I'm gonna need you to get with the times, right? Update your definitions accordingly, and matter of fact, just throw that whole dictionary into the recycling bin.